A local animal rescue group is working with city council to create a plan against continued animal abuse in Columbus. This after one member was tagged in a viral Facebook post made after finding a dog little more than skin and bones. This is what Leroy the Pitbull mix looked like last week when Harold Johnson happened to stop by the house next door on a work call. It was terrible. I just wanted to run over there and grab him real quick and take him with me, but... Johnson's Facebook post got more than 5,000 shares and caught the eye of several local rescue groups, including Animal SOS. This wasn't the first case they'd seen of extreme animal chaining in Columbus, but within days of rescuing the five-year-old pup from his conditions, members filed to meet with city council Tuesday. It was very encouraging how the mayor and the council listened to what we presented to them. They have hearts. They all have hearts and compassion for animals. Mayor Tomlinson and city councilors suggested amending the current dog tethering ordinance that passed last year. Whether it's banning dog chaining altogether or implementing harsher penalties for neglectful owners, the mayor charged Carter with coming up with a task force plan to better protect animal rights. Next door to Animal Control at Paws Humane, she says she hopes the community can work towards a happier Columbus for people and pets. You don't have to have a lot of money uh, to be able to properly take care of a dog. On your side in Columbus, Michaela Singleton, WRBL News 3.